In this video, you're going to discover how stress reduces the quality of your sleep and it greatly elevates insulin and this in turn promotes fat storage. It reduces your energy, it puts you in a bad mood and it takes the joy and the juice out of your life. So we're going to discover some great proven strategies to stop this happening to you. So let's take a look. So what are some of the negative effects of chronic stress? There are many, but in this video series, we're focusing on how chronic stress actually influences our sleep and creates sleep dysfunction, ultimately reducing the quality of our sleep and the quantity, and this we're calling sleep debt. We're also looking at how chronic stress elevates the hormone insulin and creates blood sugar problems and elevated insulin. We saw all kinds of neat things that it does and one of the important things it does is it promotes fat storage and it prevents the body from mobilizing and burning fat. So let's take a look at how cortisol is produced in the body, when it's produced, and then we're going to look at how you can bring it down. So this is a generalized graph of cortisol production. And what's most interesting, it looks like a little mountain range. And as you can see, at about 8 o'clock in the morning, 7 to 8 o'clock in the morning, your cortisol levels peak. And why does your cortisol levels peak in the morning? For two reasons. One, to help get our bodies up out of bed and take on the day. And two, cortisol actually increases blood sugar. And it does this by breaking down your muscle tissue and converting it in your liver into glucose, which feeds your brain. Now listen, there's a really important point there. I said cortisol breaks down your muscle tissue. And remember, muscle is where we burn fat. If you don't eat breakfast, your body is continually going to burn fat, it's going to slow your metabolic rate, and it's going to inhibit your ability to burn fat. So, as we go throughout our day, our cortisol levels should start coming down. There's another little bump at the end of the day of our work day around 5 o'clock. And then, throughout the evening, our cortisol levels drop to the lowest point at bedtime. Now, this is generalized cortisol. However, many people have cortisol levels similar to this dashed line. It's elevated in the morning, it stays elevated all day, and most importantly, it's elevated at night. So we're going to look at how we can bring your cortisol levels down in the morning so you function and feel better and prevent the burning of your muscle, which ultimately will help you burn fat. And at the end of the day, we're going to look at how to bring your cortisol levels down so you have and can easily fall asleep. And remember, sleep is so important, it's the most primary restorative process of the body. Make sense? Let's move on. So it's a fattening combination. It all adds up to a slower metabolism and fat storage. When you have chronic stress, it affects your thyroid function. And remember, your thyroid function controls your metabolic rate. If your thyroid function is reduced, your metabolic rate is reduced, the calories you burn is reduced, and you feel tired and you don't move around as much. Chronic stress causes the loss of muscle. We call that, remember the technical term? Sarcopenia, loss of muscle. And that reduces our ability to burn fat. Chronic stress alters our brain chemistry and it brings down a neurotransmitter called serotonin. That's the feel-good hormone. So you've experienced this. When you get stressed, what happens? You don't feel as good. That's due to this chemical reaction in your brain. And chronic stress, as we saw, it elevates insulin, so that promotes fat storage, and it also reduces our sleep and the quality of our sleep. So we wake up tired, our willpower is low, and come on, we've all experienced this, right? How do you go on throughout your day? Remember we learned you eat more, you gain more calories, and you gain weight. And ultimately, when you're stressed, your willpower is down, and you tend not to move as much. And if you aren't moving as much, you burn less energy and ultimately this combination of chronic stress leads to fat storage and there are many other effects of chronic stress but that we'll get into another video. The next few videos are fully dedicated to proven practical solutions that will help you sleep better, reduce your stress and allow your body to release and burn fat. 
If you master these strategies, I guarantee you will have more energy, you'll sleep better, and your stress will be lower. However, if you miss these, then you're destined to a lifetime of struggle with weight gain, low energy, chronic stress, high cholesterol, and even cancers. So, go watch those educational videos now.